You've probably heard the term soft landing recently. It's been all over the news. The Federal Reserve keeps on talking about this thing called the soft landing. The goal is to increase interest rates, uh, so to slow down the economy. So they're looking for a gradual stop rather than a hard stop. My personal view is I'm not sure we're actually on that track. And today I'm gonna to talk about why. And to help me explain my thoughts, we're gonna look at the mortgage markets. You know how much I love mortgage markets? Let's look at them. There are two graphs that I wanna share with you. The first one is about mortgage rates. Mortgage rates hit 7.08% last week. That's the highest it's been since 2002. Mature buyers in the market will tell you that it was much worse in the 80s. In fact, average interest rates in the 80s reached up to 18%. And here, I'm gonna plot the 30-year fixed average rate mortgage from 1972 till today. And I downloaded this data from Fred. Sure enough, 1980-81, we hit about 18%. That time was also challenged with high inflation. If you have any idea what economic activities were happening that led to that outcome, leave them in the comment. I wanna hear from you. Do you know your US economic history? But to me, that's not the actual problem. To see what I'm actually worried about, let us calculate the year-over-year -year change in interest rates. This will tell us how much interest rates have changed since last year. It can provide us with insight on the rate of change that we're experiencing in the mortgage market. While we did experience high interest rates in the 80s, we have never seen growth in interest rates that is this extreme as we are experiencing right now. In September, the change in interest rates was 118% from a year ago. This has never happened before, at least not since 1972. And this is what I'm worried about. If you look at the 1980s, that number was 60%. It is hard for me to imagine a soft landing when we're drastically changing interest rates and the impact it's going to have on the housing market. It literally looks like we're slamming the brakes. Let's talk about a data challenge. I'm introducing a new task for the followers over here that want to be part of the community. So what we're gonna do over here is gonna introduce a way for us to work together. I will add a link to the comments over here that will send you to the data that I'm going to use for next week's data story. And what I want from you is I want you to try out your own data story. Share it on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure to tag me at Dr. A. Albarani. And then tune in next week to see how I use that same data and what data story I tell with it. This way, we could get to work together. Mm -hmm.